Okay, day 162 of Juan Brotherhood, part two. Tahir Javid, Tahir Javid. Um, it just so happens that Tahir Javid was a doctor, a minister of health in Pakistan in 2002, and he was cited for uh, poisoning 200 people using the same needles and so forth with hepatitis C. Um, exactly the same name. So that's going to be interesting. Also, I published a, a resume or LinkedIn from uh, Imran Awan where he works for LCC, uh, which is that company that uh, the other guy worked for, LCC, which is a router company. But before that, he worked for a company called Cellplan with one L, so C-E-L-P-L-A-N. Well, Tahir Javid has a huge line of products called Cell Plan, and it's C-E-L-L-P-L-A-N-E, so I don't know if that's the same company or not, but an interesting connection there between the Awans and uh, potentially to, to hear Javid. When I saw the Hep C thing, I thought immediately of a, a veteran I met who had been infected with Hep C around the 2002 time frame. I don't know if this was in Missouri. So this case, I believe, was in Missouri, and the doctor fled to Lahore, Pakistan, which is also very interesting. Uh, Kind of a lineup, and this is where I'm kind of saying these all these all these uh, rat lines, they're always the same thing. It's the oil, it's the sex trafficking, it's the child trafficking, it's the uh, the hacking, um, and the organ harvesting. You know, it's just different. It's always the Pakistanis doing the intelligence stuff and the hacking. It's the Turks doing the doctor thing, and everybody else kind of doing the rat line thing, uh, the Muslim Brotherhood thing, uh, foot soldiers. So uh, the update on Dr. Fatah is he's Lebanese um, from some, uh, I think he's Catholic Lebanese and so forth. Reminds me a lot of um, some of the uh, Juster partners, you know, with, uh, and I can't remember his name right off the bat, but uh, that this is the billionaire guy from, from Lebanon, that section of Lebanon. But also he was involved bef with Medicare and Medicaid fraud. That probably would have been the largest case ever. Um, because of so many deaths occurring. But for some reason, uh, maybe the civil trial hasn't occurred yet, but I can't imagine when you kill 100 people um, how that 33 million uh, would be the biggest. Uh, so I think this got suppressed somehow because, or else, or else it hasn't gone to a uh, jury trial yet for, for damages. Or maybe they, he just doesn't have any money anymore. But again, another doctor here with the fake doctor uh, moniker and, and so forth and the connection to Alatar. So um, I'm going to be looking at Starco here, Starco Import Export, and looking at all their products because, again, if I have 500 products, I only need three or four to be my conduits for illegal drugs. Um, and this is the perfect retail distribution methodology for drugs in the United States. So I'm not going to go here anymore. I did talk to Ava Bartlett, by the way, everybody. I normally don't jump out of the presentation, but I just want to show you this article um, about this Pakistani health minister which caused the worst outbreak of hepatitis in the U.S. in United States history. So if nothing uh, about Javid Awan, or excuse me, um, to hear Javid, is they're record breakers. I mean, they're definitely record breakers. It was called uh, the Fremont, largest largest Hep C ever, 2002. The name was uh, uh, to here, and there's a different middle name, Jawan. I'll try to find that. I'm not good at being outside of the uh, presentation. Um, Ali, Tahir Ali Javid. But that was a shocker. Uh, someone sent that in. So I think that's one where... Uh, we're going to have to look more into that. But then he became, after the largest outbreak of hepatitis C in the United States, he then gets a post becoming the public health minister. And if, as you know, B. Gum, the, that lady B. Gum, who's now the minister at VA and uh, uh, at the VA for Maryland and Virginia, she also shares a last name with the excuse me the public interior minister of Pakistan. Again, these government positions have long been known as cutouts for uh, ISI um, diplomats. It used to be called the uh, Fremont Cancer Center in Missouri, and then they changed the name to Missouri Valley Cancer Consortium. Uh, this is a totally unexpected find. This repeated uh, doctors of death thing. 
And so I just felt I had to get it up on the web as quickly as possible. So on to a company called Agro Marketing that is based in Toronto that I believe has a connection in this to uh, uh, Des Moines, Iowa. And we'll take on the story from there.